welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North, Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. Okay. Looks like this bear fell asleep on his way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to his back. They're getting cold. Oh, goodness, frozen honey. Now this is what I'm talking about. A perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crowded for my taste. At least that keeps things interesting. Okay, let's put away the rubber bullets. It's the patch, too. Alright. A cozy looking campfire. A sweet sense of honeysuckle is wafting from the flames. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well renowned gang. I've never heard of them before. I really am game to be out in the loop. <laughs> Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Been here for two weeks, the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. Very great. Ah, does that suck? Maybe it would be nice if I was fired. I'll just go live in the world and find my own food. That should be everyone's goal in life. I see. Hello! Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. What was the line? Oh. It's Hand W Coffee. Okay. I appreciate the offer, but. My dad would ground me if I bought items off strangers. That's what he always told me. Don't buy items off strangers. Eh. Eh. Alright. Let's talk. This resort. Um. Well. This resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all of our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Or was it my great-great-grandfather? I can't answer this customer's simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. Alright. So, uh, more about this place. Our amendment- Our amenities Huh? Our amenities are neat. A honey cooler, our coveted latte machine, oh, and a space heater. That's a special one. Was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chujin. His apprentice helped as well. He worked in the steamworks ages ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. He always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does. I hope it does you too, if you were there, which you weren't. I'll shut up now. All right, how's business? Better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come for the band, some for the hot spring. But the monsters love our coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey straight from the forest. I've already had 13 cups this morning. <laughs> Goodness gracious. The band. The band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. The band is a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear their new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... and... oh no. I've just been talking about why I like... You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. And Dolph. That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down and watch the band. Looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but the thoughts of socializing that much always scares me. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. Alright. See ya. Thanks for being so kind. Okay. What's up with you? You know why they told me to go You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off and stressed. I know why that is. 
Have a theory, see? Because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and then imminent and imminent starvation and so on. Those aren't important back home, but here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not, though. And you know what that is? Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how much parts I'll have in it? No. Zip, zero, zilch. And that's how much you should have, too. Here then. I see cozy. Build is a sticker on the heater. Crafted with love by Chujin and Martlet. Oh, Martlet's the uh, princess. Let's see. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all their aliases they used in the hotels. Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm content to sit and listen. That's good. I want you to be one of those crazy k pop stands. Hey kid, I get up. Guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wacky place, that is. Probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. The monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. It's a kid like you doing hanging with these with those wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused, I'm just messing with you. Heh <laughs> Alright. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney, the leader of our little band here. We're traveling all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear a tune? Yes. Right on, dude. This is a chilly song you can curl up by the fireplace to. What's up? Glad you could stop by for a listen. And if I ask you a question, which are better, minor scales or major scales? I don't know anything about music. Uh, minor? Whoa, hey, really? I appreciate the bittersweet tone. Down for minor scale. If I find another fan. No one around here appreciates them like I do. Not even my bandmates. Need both to coexist, but minor just flows better, you know? Alright. What about you, robot? Confession time. I claim to be a musician, but I know nothing about reading sheet music, scales, intervals, or any of that. That's why I just hit the things with sticks rhythmically for a living. <laughs> Full of honey. Yum? Yeah, yum. That sounds delicious. This way to the hot spring. Alright. Let's quickly return uh, to that good dude that's stuck. Feel free to slack off a while, kid. I'll be here checking out the hot springs. Alright. Let's go return the, to that guy with the hot coffee. Hopefully it doesn't freeze by the time we get there. Wouldn't surprise me if it did. You take out the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you, crazy? That thing is steaming. I need something hot, but not that hot. Hmm. What else were they selling? Oh, I got a lukewarm pop. to claim? Let's take a look. You don't. What's a shame? If you want to check again, just ring the bell. Till we meet again, I bid you farewell. Alright then. Hmm. The remnants of a snowman. It's full of life. Now full of potential for new life. Interesting. Interesting way of looking at it. Check out the hot spring. Hello. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so I want this symmetrical. But I think my left mitten took a vacation somewhere. This left me. Isn't it over here? Yeah. How'd I get it? Eh, I 
guess I can. Okay. What is that? Is that convenient? There's a torch on one side, not on the other. The Feng Shui of this place is terrible. Swimming is a great full body workout. Are you seeing all these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I dropped a whole goggle size. that can only be brought by a torch? Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. What the hell? Oh. Now this job has a high turnover rate? Crazy, right? Apparently, most monsters don't like having their head low far. But you know, what, you see my head? That's natural flame, baby. Best job ever. I see. This is the hottest spawn snow day. Quite literally. I've wanted to come here forever, and this is finally my chance. But it's worth the wait. This is completely bliss. This is complete bliss. I see. Hmm. Alright, there must be some way we can cool off this coffee. Family owned and operated. All travelers are welcome. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. I can give you some coffee. You take out the cup of coffee. Me? How can I ever thank you? Here, I found this in the snow. It's probably out there for ages. A oh, soggy mitten. Oh. Okay, let's go return it. Hey brother slash sister slash sibling, I got your mitten. That's my missing mitten. Just in time too. My left hand was getting so jealous. I just can't live without much civil unrest. I should really pay you back. But I don't think I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know. Take this. It's a map of Snowden. Oh, it's drawn and crown. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Here you go. Map. You take out the map. Map? Splendid. You make this just for us? I wish I had something as heartfelt to give in return. Would you like some extra matches? I've been holding on to them in case we needed a fire. Don't need one anymore. Love will keep us warm. Sorry, that's a little cliche, isn't it? Well, I wish you the best. Don't use all those matches in one place. Receive some matches. Oh, you're not lost anymore. Thank you for the map. You didn't need it, though. I had everything under control, I swear. Ah. Uh -huh. Alright. I imagine these matches are gonna be pretty painful on that guy's tongue, but... You know... If he couldn't handle the coffee... I have a feeling he'll be able to handle the matches. I'm just guessing that's where the joke is coming from. Oh, or not. Hmm. Didn't work. Oh, you want some matches? Wait. But if there is a deeper meaning to it. 
torch is a metaphor for the incomplete nature of life. I'll never look at the underground the same way again. She goes. Alright then. Bridge slippery during the snowfall. No running. We're all guards, thinking they're all special. We don't have the screening process like they used to. But they interview these bozos. Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes. There's a uniform. We'll start Monday. Let's look at this puzzle. It's a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. Uh -huh. What's this? A new book? Alright then. Just that I suck, that's is also an option. Eventually. Ah. Finally. Took me long enough. Ten steps to the east. Second sign. Oh. Try Hecta Wobbles. Or Try Hecta. Okay. Uh, hi. Attempt to climb Try Hecta. Try pushes you away. Or step it on. That's your cling on tight, right? Oh. I guess in that I need to topple the monster first. Oh, we'll try Hector towards you. Tired of being overlooked. Oh. Try Hector topples over. Third side, ten steps to the west, first side. Okay. But, uh. Interesting set of, uh. signs. Take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it. Hmm. Coffee bean ammo, huh? Better accuracy. What's this? 
It's the same puzzle as before. To whom it may concern, after building the first bar puzzle, I realized the fatal flaw in its design. How was an intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on a higher plane, out of your average monster's eyesight. If someone solved that puzzle, they must be very good at guessing. In any case, I have created an, an improved version. With new vertical design, you can see what's your see what you're controlling. Parts may still get stuck though. Please refer to my instructions back at the first puzzle if that happens. Sign Motlet to the Underground World Guard. OPS. see what the point of that is. It almost fell off the end. <laughs> Alright then. Some leftovers from this puzzle's construction. Alright. Let's get going. It's a box. I wonder what we'll ever get to use the matches for. Notice a fresh pancake lying under the bed. Take it. Obtain a honeydew pancake. Great, now I want pancakes. Crazy to think I used to... Oh. Howdy! We're almost out of here. Surprised that guard never saw you nearby, you know? That puzzle sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I won't worry if you run into it. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. I was gonna say, it's crazy to think. I used to think of pancakes as a as a breakfast food. Now it's purely a dessert for me. Anywho, let's see if we can find that Twitter bird. And there she is. Hello. Hmm? Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You took a, you look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my window. I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait, I've got to take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy on the poster I saw once. Got a hat, just like you. And he was totally human, so like... Transitive property of s or something like that. Actually, I think it was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Oh dear. Artlets of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be cautious and allow opponent the first attack. Alright. Martlet of the Royal Guard is waiting for your turn. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, rush. Tap your wrist and reach it. looks apologetically and tries to talk a little faster. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay, I space out on this stuff, like, all the time. I'll let you go again. Gust the wind blows a little feather in your face. Martlet looks at best. Alright. There's more Martlet's random. Doesn't look like she's noticed. Uh, I, hold on. I have the guide to I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh... Take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. I can think smells like a birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossoms. Alright. Rush. Have to risk impatient. Martin looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Okay. Really sorry for the way. I'm lucky. Not the best Royal Guardian, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. How does Blinko? I think it's cold. Probably isn't. Alright. 
Bartlett. Attack 8, defense 10. Little scatter. Aha! All guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Road call 2. I attack. Oh! I was not expecting that. Everything smells like bird seed with a taste of the Alright. You fake a yawn. Bartlett starts talking faster still. That was only a warm up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet. Is that just a box? What kind of attack is that? <laughs> just throwing your toolbox at me. Everything smells like. She got me. Alright. I'm not sure she even meant to kill you there. Impressive. Question mark? Alright. Had to dodge it this time. Phew, this is a real workout. Keep it up, Bartlett. Good. Okay, now's the time to use this. We lick the frosting off the sponge. Now it feels squeaky clean. The HP was maxed out. Oh! What's this about? Oh. Checking this one more time. I can't be right. You're not fighting back. Oh, what are you? You're all cute and stuff. You go on, have a turn. I'm gonna check that handbook again. Okay. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have the job. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se, but she scolded me and got real aggressive. Like, what are you on about? I'm not you. Clear the feathers off of your head. You mind being aggressive like her? Okay. Insult. Call Martley a weenie. Aw, that was adorable. I didn't feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. Put so much work into that. I'm making this easy here. Here I go. Let's call and all that. Well, the Royal Guard! Oh. Ugh. Ah! This time, I did. Good. Give it another try, I believe in you. You forcibly tell Martley you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rags like these, right? Not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything, haha. <laughs> oh, right, it's my turn. Insult. Insult Martlet's jaw performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to Royal Guarddom. All the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my Royal Guard discount of movies, my nice insurance rates. If I find out how much I hesitate here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. Royal Guard doesn't know you're here. They won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of that will see you. We'll be home in time for dinner. I mean, 
Maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the old guard and lend your case to Asgore. Asgore. There's no way you can say no to a cute little face like yours. Hit me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Ah, oh, what a cute person. There's a notebook on the counter titled My Puzzle Blueprints. This must be where Martlet sketches her puzzle ideas. Alright then. Let's see what Martlet has to... Hey there! So here's the plan. Sorry, I think that I went a little overboard, but... I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So, I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively. We don't really have those. Either way, behold! The UG Aviator! Water sits on an old-looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? Ah. I wonder when she built that. Alright. My map and memory serve. This river should lead directly to Hotland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and leap to Asgore's castle. Not sure how we're getting in, but... We cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm, honest. I just had to do my job, is all. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is up until it's too late. So, I know we just man all. But will you trust me on this? Yes. Yay! Don't worry, your trust is in good hands. Or wins, as the case may be. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least, while I've been here, it hasn't. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this. I lose all of my life's work and belongings, but hey, what's life without a little risk? Well, shall we be off? Yeah, sure. Let's get going. Wait, aren't you supposed to- Wait, hold on! I was supposed to be on Ava with you! Ugh. So, hi! As I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? Yeah, kind of. Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor. An older fellow by the name of Chujin taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? Nothing big, it's just a little quality insurance question. Will you try it? Yeah, sure. Great! Question one. On a scale of one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Eh, three. Wait, really? I got a three! I've never gotten a three before. Oh my goodly goodness. I can't believe it, I got a three! I have to tell absolutely everyone! Okay, sorry, got carried away. Let's keep going. Question two. A scale from one to two, how would you rate... The puzzles to Floyd and Snowden? Two. Really? Thanks! I made them myself. There's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. I mean, because I got last choice of station, but still. They pick up a few things regarding uh, all that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. Question 3. On a scale of 1 to 4, how do you rate the auditory ambience? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. How do they keep up with this? Let's forget that question here. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a 2 there, and a 3, and a 2.50 there, 23, and we're done. Oh, one more thing. You don't need your name for legal purposes. No, I guess. It's Clover. What a unique name. I love it. So, Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told you. Sails like a dream from I'm a perfect lullaby. Nice pace, pretty view, not a single leak. Oh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. You can just sit back and relax and hey. Do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? Oh. Well, we are in a waterfall. 
Is it just me, or is the river getting faster? Well, if anything, it helps us. Uh-oh. Um, I might not have been down this route before. Hold on to something. Uh-oh. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, look, it's Hotland. This is our stop. Wait, we have to dock here. Slow down. I don't think the boat is listening. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Dead. Hello, Clover? Are you okay? Oh, no, no, no. You stay right there. I'll go get help. Well, it's a good thing there was this convenient ankle-deep puddle of water to break our fall, eh? Howdy, Clover. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. Looks like she ditched you as well. Guess it can't be helped now. There's gotta be another route to Asgore's castle here. Tough out for now, and we'll see where this new path takes us. No well, excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Gee, thanks, Flowey. Hey, thanks for watching this video until the end. If you want to see more of my stuff, click on either the vids on screen or check out my YouTube channel. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and check the description for more places to follow me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you.